I've been denied second jobs, new jobs. The only reason why I hadn't freaking blown my dog on brains out yet is because normally right before the breakthrough, everything possible that's just bad happens. And it's meant to, I don't know, just do a, a myriad of things, whatever it could be, distract you, um, disinterest you, uh, cause you to become apathetic, cause you to give up, whatever, whatever. And it's just, I'm not doing any of those things. I just, I don't know what else to do. It's, it's like, it's, it's like, it's stuck in me to do push forward for whatever it's like I don't even know what it is I, I don't even I don't even know what it is you know I never asked to be here I never asked to be born I never asked for any of this stuff and it's just like it's got to be more than this so Cameron hit the fucking jackpot today man he actually did something he actually did something right see he uh checked the mail and all these packages came in. We got this bitch in here. I uh, headed out to Memphis. Uh, about to meet up with my clients and movies pieces again. Uh, doing the photo shoot today. What's going on, everybody? So we out here at the Naked Turtle, filming a music video for hers. Hey, so what's going on, everybody? So right now we're about to head downtown. We're gonna do some filming. Uh, we're gonna film the homie Lum. Like I filmed like a million times, doing a quick little ad for Eris Effects. It's gonna be pretty dope. I mean, you're right, because you can just take out whenever you look like an idiot. Oh, I fucked up here. Allow me to just edit that out. Oh, I did a shitty take. And, and, and I, I could even make that. you look twice as dumb. I mean, yeah, it's not very hard. Not very hard. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> Rolling. This is take two. We're gonna we're gonna get this right this time, right? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right, so something I like to do after I wrap up my shoots, and especially after like like a crazy, just a crazy day, stressful day, come out here, wash the baby. Like it's just crazy that this is my life. You know what I mean? I stopped making excuses and I just tripled down on my strengths and started putting in the work. If anything, what I'm currently doing is a testament to what it means when you just put your head down and you stop complaining and you just start doing the work. Because the level of complaining is unacceptable. Look, what if I told you this was the last Monday morning of your life? What if I told you you die this week? Would you complain about your crap job or that test you don't want to take? I doubt it. You would go much higher level thinking. We're living in a world where there's so much more opportunity. This internet thing created way more opportunity for all of us, way more. I mean look, you might not even be alive. Like your mom and dad could have had sex like three minutes later and you wouldn't even exist and you're complaining. You could have ended up being a bus, a tree. I just don't get the mentality of being head down sad on a Monday morning. I'm gonna make Monday morning my bitch. Fuck you, Monday. Can't get this bitch to do shit. Look at him. Look at this dude. I'm trying to be you over here. Over here talking shit. Look at this dude. That's all you do. That's all you do, man. Take out, take every picture. Right, so what's up, guys? I'm outside here of uh, D180 Fitness. About to meet up with uh, Asia Wardlow. She's gonna be a model for today. We're gonna model some clothes from a fitness brand that I got in contact with. Super nervous. I mean, she's just a person. But like, I've never done this before and I don't want to come off like a creeper or nothing. All right, just wrapped up a photo shoot. With, with who, what's your name? Aisha. <laughs> Aisha, uh, yeah, it went really cool. Went really good, I can't wait for y'all to see him. All right, peace. Yo, so, I just, I'm like, I'm hurriedly, hurriedly? I can't even talk. 
I'm like quickly getting ready right now because I just got an insane phone call and I'm trying to get myself together a little bit. Got a little collar on, you know what I'm saying? And then we're gonna hop in the car and uh, hopefully everything goes according to plan. So tell them, tell them how you feeling right now. Just, just, just go on and do it right now. Good. Okay. What's going on, guys? It's Seiji. Just want to let hey, you know that I'm doing... my name is Seiji. Fam, fam. <laughs> man, look at you, boy. Whatever, man. I'm gone. Anyway, man. just letting you know, I'm doing a mother's. Don't mind thing. me. I'm just. It's all got to be one shot. I cannot it up. Just want to let I'm you know. Trying. I'm doing a Mother's Day themed photo shoot at Liberty Gardens next Sunday. Yo, so I'm down here downtown and uh, about to film. Oh, there's the way. About to do some filming. Um, it's a couple bands playing tonight. Beautiful. So, what's your name? Angelina. Okay, how old are you, Angelina? Uh, eight. The things that you go through for art, you know what I mean? Working a job, being an employee is a lose-lose situation no matter how you look at it. No matter how you look at it. And, and, and this is why. You know, uh, even despite business owners' best intentions, um, employees are an expense. So when you think about it, there's just no way for you to win at a job. A, a business owner's ultimate thing is to make profits. Employees are an expense at the end of the day. It doesn't matter what you make. And they're never going to pay you what that job is actually worth. Because if they did, they wouldn't make any money. This is something I did not plan for. Up in these freaking woods doing this <sighs> a lot more walking than I thought but you'll never grow unless you get out that comfort zone you know what I'm saying not to mention look at all this walking that I'm doing yeah look how smooth this footage is baby it's smooth man the Zion crane man y'all gotta get one straight up Press, 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 press. Throw him. Keep shooting. Rifle gets hit. Cover. So yeah, we're trying to go uh, door to door to businesses and stuff. Um, trying to get them to take advantage of like some free photography. And this is something that we're doing to kind of like get our foot on the door. But yeah, this is the first time that we're doing this. <laughs> this but, is the first time. Uh, but you know, it's something that we plan on doing like every week. You know, a couple, you know, a couple times a week. I'm gonna be drinking all this water by the time we <laughs> had the people. Uh, all right, let's get to work. What you? He comes back Monday, so if you need to leave him anything, I can get it to him. Uh, well, I, uh, I'm a marketer. Mm -hmm. um, I'm also a photographer. We are trying to, me and my, my, uh, my partner here, Rio Kazan, we are trying to um, branch out to working with businesses instead of just musicians and artists and things of that okay. nature. Um, so we are we are advertising five free photos for your business okay. uh, to kind of spread a little bit more awareness on your on, on your social sure. media. Uh, so um, if you are 
the agent here wants to set up something with us, he can uh, email uh, here. That's my phone number. Okay. My website's there. You can check out my work. Okay. And uh, I mean, we have lots of resources like that, that can kind of bring attention okay. uh, to your, give you give you guys more customers. All right. Yeah, uh, we'll get it to him. Thank you. And do you have a card? Yeah, right that? there on that tape. And it pretty much is just to bring awareness on social media. You do have a Facebook right for your business. Um, I did, but I deleted it. What? Okay. Well, you gotta advertise on, on Facebook. Yeah. Uh, advertising, the advertising there has yeah. doubled over the past year. Correct. And so uh, that can really bring more awareness to your business and, and get you more customers. And that's pretty much right. all that we're trying to do. We're just trying to provide value for us to see who don't feel like we're interested in more of what we have to offer. Mm -hmm. um, so if you okay. can just take that. Yeah. And do you, you have a card? Yeah, right there. All right, so check this out. So I'm over here in this one building. And I'm in this one building, and this lady was like, uh, is, is that a, is this, is this an ad in your hand? And I was like, yeah, but I didn't even realize that the whole time she asked me that, my hand is like, <laughs> I'm really like, oh, oh, yeah. About to head over to Spring Hill, which is like right outside of Nashville, technically Nashville. I'm doing a music video shoot today. I love music videos, man. I wish more bands would do them with me. <laughs> Just wanted to keep you guys in the know on some things that, are, that have been going on here with me lately um, the first being which I quit my job last week actually it's just about time man I felt like it was right uh, I got I'm just realized that I'm working on like my third straight month of you know doing better filming than I am in my full-time job uh, because I just started using social media, you know, the correct way, the way that it's meant to be used. Just having that little bit of freedom was something, something that, I, that I really needed. Uh, I felt that working eight hours a day, I just thought like if I just focused eight hours of my own time into my own business, into my own craft, to getting my own clients, I could make way more money, like just way more money. And I just felt like every day that I wasn't taking full advantage of that, I was just missing out on money. I mean, like I lose daily. I take L's every single day, but I make sure that I lose at a different thing in a different area of my life every single day instead of the same thing so that I can consistently improve. You lose so many times, you know, so that in the grand scheme, you, you ultimately can win. Like, like people think I'm making this up, man. Like they don't understand that I've been through like a lot. I mean, I haven't been through the worst, but I mean, I've been, I've been pretty close. Find out what you're good at and figure out how to make that work in your favor. And just maybe, you know, over time you start to lose a little bit less and less. We do this for family. I do this for my son, um, even though I, I hate the fact that I don't have the kind of relationship with him that I want. And I want to always be able to set that kind of positive example for him. I want him to go out here, grow up and be his own man. I want him to, to see I don't have to work at a factory for 30 years and you know work my life away. I don't have to go to school and be in college and be hundreds of thousands of dollars in student debt. I can bring my own vision to life with my own two hands. I hope that that's the kind of legacy that I leave behind for him. I've been in Michigan for the last few days, filming with the boys in Mutual Live. We're all crashing down here. This is, this is where I'm at. Look at all my stuff, man. A uh, bass player slept here. They got this little... Uh, this is just the basement area, by the way. And we're gonna head upstairs. All right, this is everybody. Say hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. Hi, everybody. I'm just ready to get back home, get back to editing in my little safe space. Do you think that it's strange at all that everything's yes. being captured and no. recorded or Absolutely is this no. the new normal? This is the new normal. 
I think it's strange for people that are not capturing. So you seem to have a really unique insight on the way that the tides are changing, particularly in media. And it seems to me so odd because these bedroom vlogs and all these do-it-yourself videos with basically zero budget seem to be attracting eyeballs in a way that big TV shows with big budgets aren't anymore. Because this is the television and that's the radio. It's not odd. It's just that people aren't accepting what the fuck is actually happening. I don't feel like the industry is totally caught up. Like I think that there are a lot of marketers and salespeople that still are caught in like 2010 or because something. Because they're either financially restricted, meaning it's in their financial interest to not accept the new world, normally, or B, they suck. Everyone's so risk averse because they have these like corner office jobs or whatever. Oh, those executives? And For then sure. they always just do some sort of like cost benefit analysis that isn't about growing or making it bigger or making it the best thing in the world, but just about keeping their jobs or some shit. That's exactly right. It's pure defense. Entrepreneurship is hard. The paychecks aren't steady. Nothing is guaranteed at all. Only thing that's guaranteed is you working and you know people responding and seeing what you're doing um, one of the best benefits to this entire thing is the internet when people start you know throwing shade on social media and i'm like that's the reason why you're still broke people are demanding 15 dollars an hour people are demanding certain perks people are demanding and i mean it's not that those things are wrong it's not that it's wrong to do that it's just that the thing is that the answers are right here in front of you there is money in this. There's money in you taking advantage of this. Businesses advertising on Facebook has doubled in the last year alone. Everybody's on their phone every day. Don't, don't hit on social media, man. Like, I get discouraged and distracted just like everybody else. There are things that I would rather be doing. You know, there, there's... And trying to get you know people, especially like you know like my family, to understand that just because I'm not working a job doesn't mean I'm not doing anything. You know, I may not ever leave this house, you know, on on any given day, but I'll be buried on my computer editing, doing whatever all day long. It's 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 an interesting way to live, but I wouldn't imagine myself. I couldn't imagine myself doing anything else. Uh, that was actually my New Year's resolution for this year was to make 2017 the last year I work for anybody. Um, on a payroll. Instead, I contribute my services entirely to the market itself, and I'm, I'm, I'm happy about my decision. Are you happy with your decision? That's the question you need to ask. This is Sagey.